most people when they photograph refugees, they, they photograph the most dire situations where people are in their lowest point. I wanted to make sure that we look at our neighbors equally and not a refugee tourism. In every chaos, you have to at some point control it. I thought it was more appropriate for people to come and focus on the identity and the people rather than the space they're in. I myself was a refugee. I came to this country uh, as, as, as a refugee status. Um, Bhutanese and Nepalese are the latest wave of refugees that are coming to, to Columbus and the United States. Um, I photographed and documented the Somali um, refugees um, while they were coming. It was important to me to archive their stories as well. They are Ohioans, as much as you are, as much as your audience. If we don't save their history today, it's going to be gone. So what we decided to do was we decided to do the journey of, of the Bhutanese and Nepalese in three segments. Bhutan itself, where they originated from, and the journey from Bhutan to the refugee camp. They lived there for 20 some odd years, and then Ohio. In the late 80s, in the 80s, the, the king at the time wanted one country, one nation. So there was a systematic aggression towards the Nepali um, in, indigenous people. So they were in refugee camps for 20 some odd years. From 1992, for the most people that I interviewed, all the way to 2008. So you're looking at a very, very long time to be in a refugee camp. So they were born in Bhutan, and ethnically they're Nepali. But the historical significance is extremely important, one to understand. You know, um, born in Bhutan, ancestral land, Nepali, lived in Nepal as a refugee for 20 years. So it's complex. The United States resettled over 70,000 refugees from Nepal. As central Ohio, we have the largest Bhutanese and Nepali refugees. Each portrait will be accompanied by a bio that talks about the person's um, journey from refugee camps to how they got to Ohio, what they're doing in Ohio. So it gives you a glimpse of understanding of what the people, your neighbors are going through. Refugees are an asset and not a liability, and that's important for us to know. Tara Dungana, he is a, a program manager at a very successful community organization. He has employees working, so he created jobs in Ohio. That, to me, is what a true refugee represents. A human being, by and large, fears the unknown. Get rid of that fear. These are, these are human beings just like you and I, and they care about their community. There are, there are people, so, so get to know, get to know them.